tonight. Hello. Go ahead. Ask the. What are the walls going to be made out of? Uh, so cute. I'll tell you what it's going to be made of. It's going to be made of hardened concrete, and it's going to be made out of rebar and steel. 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 Concrete, rebar, rebar, steel. 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 Going to put a lot of workers, a lot of steel workers, back to work. <laughs> We're going to bring our jobs back to our country. <laughs> that includes the steel workers. Steel. Got to be made in America. We want American steel made in America. Two point six penny worth of steel in the pan of Campbell's soup. Yeah. We are going to put American steel and aluminum back into the spine of this nation. We're going to right. be instituting tariffs. We're not looking for a trade war. If somebody imposes a trade war on us, we'll fight to the end. If we don't do this right, we're going to invite retaliation, raise prices on consumers and manufacturers. You're dead. dead, 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 dead. What the hell is going on? Everyone's talking about steel. Steel, is it coming back? According to Mr. Trump, it is. That's why this week we'll be headed to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, a town that will be. Oh, man. I don't know how to get them out without making more of a scene. I know. I know. Ow! Um, can, I, can I move this so I can close it? Yeah. Sadie, come, here. come on, Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Sadie, come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Come here. Oh, my God. Okay. You have to come upstairs. You guys going upstairs? I'm trying. Okay, okay. There's only so much a guy can learn about steel sitting in front of a computer. Not sure I can trust what I see on TV either. You can yell all you want. You know, he's going to put up barriers of steel, about steel. People here at the steel plants believe they now have a business-friendly president who's got their backs. It's all fake news. Aww. Guess the only real way to learn anything is to get out there and talk to people affected by it. Hey, steel's coming back. You guys want to talk about it? So I went to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, once home of Bethlehem Steel. steel, steel. 140 years, this corporate giant supplied steel for the Empire State Building, the Hoover Dam, the Golden Gate Bridge, and all sorts of other things, and employed up to 30,000 members of the community at once. But in 1998, the plant closed down. You're fired. The bankrupt company was bought and then dismantled by Mr. Wilbur Ross, who now works as Mr. T's Secretary of Commerce. The factory grounds were completely abandoned until 2009. In went the Sands Casino, hotel, and restaurants, sitting amid the rusted ruins of the once mighty Bethlehem Steel. If steel's coming back, I wonder what's going to happen around here. I wonder if I can get to the bottom of it. Maybe I'll even meet a real life steel worker. Steel worker, steel worker. Uh, we'll see. I found out that Bethlehem has a university in town. You know, I figure what better place to learn about steel than a university, sitting down with a professor who's an expert on things. I bet he'll know when these steel jobs are coming back. Those jobs aren't coming back. Mr. T says, we're gonna make America great again. You don't need people to make steel. It's all automatic. Why would he say that though? He says things that people wanna hear. I will give you everything. <clears throat> Soon after they shut down the plant, they dreamed up this idea of rebuilding the whole site. People come in from New York, and they go to the casino, they go to Emerald's restaurants, I guess. Emerald has restaurants here? He's been building restaurants for the Sands. Have you spoken with him at all? No, no. And, and also, there's a fascination I think people have toward making big things. It just has a kind of almost a romantic appeal to the scale of it. It must have been a pretty fun job working in the steel. I mean, you got your buddies there, you're, you're hanging out. I mean, just a good old time. You really think so? 
It was hot, it was dirty, it was dangerous. You could crush people, you could burn them. A lot of the guys, I think, were killed by uh, getting run over by trucks. They always like to talk about the guys who fell in a ladle. What happens to the human body when it falls into 2,000 degree molten steel? And bye bye. What bubbles up to the surface? Devilish kind of view of these steaming pots of metal waiting to devour the unsuspecting steel worker. Well, thank you, for Pro Professor oh, Smith. Well, thank you. Great. It's been fun. John Finan, past presidential candidate, United States of America, long haul trucker. Steel, it's been taken from us. Can it be reignited? That's what we'll explore. Who was asleep at the wheel and lost control of that? Who was it? Now, are we bringing it back? There's also a stadium here. They have car shows, it's lovely. I'll be taking you inside. This is the casino area, right here. Super Bowl Sunday, it's gonna be quite a scene. There's the famous hat, famous hat. Look how clean the escalators are. Mm. Mm. Man, it's kind of gross now. Maybe yeah, everyone's in it wrong. We're Super Bowl Sunday. I'm here with Steve at the Cutland uh, Old Casino. Old steel mill. Right. New casino. Again. Get in the get in the thing. Always follow the money. Your fingers up. Yeah. Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money. Follow the money they sold this out. It's Maybe. Who knows? I'm an old guy. You don't look like an old guy. I'm an old guy. When is steel coming back? I hope rather soon. Do you think it's fair to push Emerald out? Push him out. Bring the steel mill back, absolutely. Get out, get out, Bam. Fire it up. He does make a mean burger. I don't think it's as mean as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. What more would you want on your burger that you didn't get? Quality. You like uh, weird things. Here's a banana with a sticker of Emma Watson from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know why it's on there, but I thought you'd uh, add that to your collection. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, it was Explain just like, that to me, would you? Uh, I don't know if I can. I mean, it just seems strange. You know, I've been kind of just going around and you know, hearing all this talk about, you know, the steel coming back, I'm like getting a little excited. And if they hired me to do this work. No, nah, right? hell no, I don't think so. They got sparks, they got hot. You don't like hot. You never did a day of manual's labor in your life. You don't even cut the grass. I cut the grass, your mom cut the grass. You didn't cut the grass at all. Do you remember cutting the grass? How did your wife cut your grass now? Is that true? <laughs> Gotta know your CPR I mean, if you're gonna work there. The temple they use is staying alive, staying alive. That's the temple. You don't use color my world, da 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 da, because you're dead. dead, 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 dead. So I, you know, I've been. Your mom and I bought a little red convertible. What? It'd be nice to have a license plate that says Gur Baby. Gur Baby license plate. Gur Baby on there. Oh, it's gonna great. fit. You might have to shorten the Gurs a little right. bit. Right. So yeah, that would be. Gonna get me something like that. I, I mean, I could do that. Where? Q Mart down in Quakertown there. They'll airbrush anything on anything. They could airbrush you a little more hair on their head there if you want. So feeling that balding spot going there, huh? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Seems like people here haven't lost their jobs to machines, at least. I mean, that's what it looks like. And, you know, I wonder if any of these people used to work at the Bethlehem Steel. You know, only now they're selling stuff instead of pounding metal, working with all the fire and, and whatnot. You know, getting dirty and uh, getting singes on their noses and, and, uh, and whatnot. What are you guys up to? We're looking uh, for steel workers. Are you guys steel workers? Steel workers? Yeah. Of all things. Yeah. Nope. Do you know, um, do they sell custom license plates around here? Um, this guy right next door does. Looking to have one made that says, Gur Baby. You can put it on the computer, you can put it on a license plate. Well, let's put it on the computer and let's get it on that license plate. Is that like one of your more popular phrases? 
that you do? Yes. Yeah. Now you take a special font? Whatever would look best for a guy like who's having a midlife crisis. Oh, I think you did it. It's gonna take about four minutes, to be honest with you. Well, I might use that time and maybe a little bit longer to go around and look and find a sure. steel worker. Do you know where I can find a steel worker around here? We're looking for steel workers. If there's any steel workers that are around in the area. We're pet people. Do you steal in your cages? Well, we design our own cages oh, yeah? because they're the best for the birds so that the customers can't agitate them. Steel coming back? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. How soon do you think it'll be? Things move slow in the political world. Uh, You're going to get China to stop making steel. Uh, yeah. Do you think Mr. Trump's going to get him to stop? Well, if anyone can, he can. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, make them deals. Make yeah. them a deal? Yeah, yeah. A good deal maker will make great deals. I'm a great deal maker. That's what I do. Who is better than me? Yeah. Who is better than me? That's what I do. People get together. They make deals. With Congress, you have to get everybody in a room, and you have to get them to agree. But you have to get them to agree what you want. It's got to be the deal that you want. I'm a great deal maker. That's what I do. things that I'm unhappy about Aww. in this bill. There are a lot of things that we shouldn't have had in this bill, and it's not right. And it's very bad for our country. Therefore, I've signed this omnibus budget bill. Aww. My highest duty is to keep America safe. Nothing more important. The omnibus bill puts America at really grave risk. A lot of things that we shouldn't have had in this bill, but we were forced to have. There are some things that we should have in the bill. But I say to Congress, I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Nobody read it. Thank you all very much. I'm a great deal maker. That's what I do. China, China, China. We've got other products that probably everybody here is wearing shoes made in China. Except me, mine, mine are made in Peru. They're a fair trade company really? called Incas. They plant a tree in the rainforest for every sh pair of shoes they sell. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I've been buying like cage free. I always make yeah. sure it's cage free, so now I know. No, it actually has to say pasture raised because even uh, free range means they have windows to look outside. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, but they're still inside. They're though. still inside. They can look yeah. out and wonder what's going uh, on out there. Man, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Free trade does not exist. I mean, free trade was something made up by King Henry VII in the 1500s, I believe. While he was doing isolationism, he spread at free trade to everybody else so that they would take his stuff. Here's a little thing I like to do. That is pretty cool, man. Thanks. Besides reporting to you on what the hell is going on with steel. As American workers get geared up and ready to go back in the steel mills for work, we have to remember how labor intensive that job actually is. Well, this hands free workout for the strongest muscle group in the human body, Alpha Found the Master, is proudly made right here in the USA. So you really have nothing to lose. With a 60 day 100% money back guarantee, an amazing USA product, I don't know why you're not already Jaws excited. Till next time, finish with your face, Aloha. going around and I'm talking to people yeah. and like a lot of people want the steel to come back they want it to come on back home you know what I mean that's what they were what they're saying do you support that no everybody is still mourning the loss of Bethlehem steel and it closed 
in the early 80s, like, we need to move on and get the fuck over it. It's gone. Move on. Do you want a piece of chocolate? I would love a piece Come of chocolate. On. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hold on a second. Bethlehem bringing back the steel industry? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't support that? I think that? it would be an amazing day if that would happen. Amazing and yeah. um, I don't think that that's going to happen. When the steel comes back, are you going to like maybe play at the opening or something? That would be That'd cool. Be great. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the bomb. We've been doing a lot of networking. You know, if you want to play at the opening of the the reopening, the grand reopening of the steel plant, you can give a pitch. We would really represent the uh, Lehigh the Valley. Lehigh Valley mm -hmm. and uh, just like life in general. Devilish kind of view of these steaming pots of metal. They got sparks, they got hot, you don't like hot. We need people that don't sweat. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful to hear a little bit of live music now and then, you know, and I, it's, that town offers that at least. But, you know, I mean, this is, uh, we're, we're trying to talk about steel here. Uh, maybe I should sit down with a steel worker. You know, maybe there's a steel worker out there. This, I mean, there's got to be a ton in this town. This is where the steel happened. This is where it all began, more or less, I think. Okay, here we go. Did you, you know, think you would be there for 22 years? Did I think I'd be there 22 years? I thought I'd be there 40 years. Let's say the steel comes back. Here? It, yeah. The it, Bethlehem steel will never be what it was. Never. Really? Really. Were you frightened to walk onto the job? There was people that tried to pour steel that would start it and run. <laughs> Yeah, when you're standing there holding on to that for a couple of minutes, you're pouring 3,100 degrees, and you know, whatever you're pouring, it starts to really... Really start splashing. People have told me horror stories of catching on fire. You're in harm's way from the beginning to the end. Something went wrong, there's gonna be an explosion. And I'm talking major explosion. Seems intense. It was intense. It's kind of like uh, anything. What's your attitude? You gonna do it or are you gonna run from it? Gonna do it. Gonna do it. I actually have a video of us pouring a heat on the Bethlehem steel. Oh. Oh, there it is. Those jobs aren't coming back. You gonna do it or you gonna run from it? Dead, 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 dead. Well, that's what I learned about steel. Still not sure if it's coming back. Uh, we'll definitely update you if it does. You know, I'm not sure what Emerald thinks about all this, to be honest with you. But I do know working in steel is not my cup of tea. Guess all you can do is wait, see what happens, and keep doing what you do best. Which for me is karaoke. You are the magnet, and I am steel. For you are the magnet, and I am steel. For you are the magnet, and I am steel. For you. Absolutely.